Have you ever gotten a hurtful comment on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook? No? Okay, then we're done here. But seriously, some comments are downright harmful. They hurt our reputation. And the question I'm here to answer today is, can you take legal action against someone who posts a harmful social media comment? Hey creator, I'm Ian Corzine, your social media lawyer. The question for today is, can you take legal action for a harmful post? We begin our analysis with understanding that mean-spirited comments, angry comments, those are actually allowed on the social media platforms. YouTube expressly allows it in its terms of service and under the community guidelines. You know, they don't want a lot of mean-spirited talk, but they do allow it. They believe that it's part of your free speech on the internet type right. So if mean-spirited and angry comments are actually allowed, not only legally, but also on the social media platforms, what is not allowed? What is not allowed, what crosses the line is defamation, defamatory comments. Those are false statements using words that cause damage to a person's reputation or property. There are two main elements for defamation. That is a false statement and actual damage. So in order to prove a case for defamation, in order to bring a lawsuit against someone who has said a hateful or harmful comment, against you, you must prove that that statement was actually false and that it caused actual damage to you. How do you do that? You have to be able to have evidence, written evidence or digital evidence that you lost money or your reputation was substantially damaged as a result of their false statement. The classic case of defamation and social media involved Nicholas Sandman. That was a case that took place last year. He was a teenager who was accused by the various media outlets of instigating a confrontation with a Native American in Washington, D.C. Basically, the media outlets they were accused of setting up the video and the audio so it made it look like Nicholas Sandman was actually instigating a conflict. It turned out when more videotape was available that he actually didn't instigate the conflict. He just kind of stood there. Well, he brought a lawsuit for defamation against multiple media outlets, including the Washington Post. He sued the Washington Post for about $250 million. The case was not resolved with a judgment by the court or a jury. It was resolved with a settlement, and we'll never know how much he settled for. But he won. He actually was able to get a monetary settlement out of the Washington Post because he was able to prove that they made false statements that caused him actual damage to his reputation. And that is, again, the classic case of defamation. So if you have a social media commenter who's making false statements that's really causing harm or damage to your reputation, you can bring a lawsuit for defamation against them. But before you go off and hire an attorney to sue someone who put a hateful comment on your social media post, I have some considerations for you. The first one is proof. In order to bring a successful defamation case, you have to have adequate proof. And I'll give you an example. Let's say someone accused you in a social media comment of abusing your children, and as a result, you lost your job as a daycare provider. You no longer could work for a daycare provider because they saw the social media post, they believed it, and then they fired you. Well, adequate proof of your damages would be your paycheck stubs, which show how much money you were making before the comment, and then you'd allege that if that comment had never been made, that you would have continued to make that money and you would have made it for the foreseeable future. That is a good example of, had it, of having adequate evidence of damages to bring a defamation case against a social media comment poster. And another consideration is money. Probably the best way to be successful in a defamation lawsuit is to hire an attorney to bring that case. Now, attorneys cost a lot of money. They usually charge by the hour. And so you have to have a lot of money to be able to bring a defamation case. So when someone makes a social media comment that's hateful, that you believe caused damage, that damage has got to be in the thousands of dollars in order to warrant you spending thousands of dollars with an attorney. If it's a comment that merely you know, impeaches your credibility, makes you look not believable, 
uh, you don't have much damages to show, then at that point in time, you need to consider whether or not it's worth it to spend five, ten thousand dollars on an attorney to bring a defamation case. So that's another main consideration before you go about wanting to sue a social media comment poster. You really got to have adequate proof of actual damage, and you have to be able to prove that that statement is false and you have to have the money to back it up so you could hire an adequate attorney to represent you in that case. But I really don't want to dissuade you from bringing a defamation lawsuit if someone commented on one of your social media posts and it was so hateful and so harmful to your reputation that you suffered severe damages. You have an absolute right to bring a civil action against that person if they're making false statements and really hurting you by them. Defamation lawsuits are becoming increasingly popular. We're seeing more and more lawsuits filed in the courts relating to defamation, and I think it's because of this environment that we live in called cancel culture. If you haven't heard this term and you wanna learn more, and I'm gonna teach you how to avoid the harmful effects of cancel culture, you should watch my video right there. And as always, as you watch, I'm gonna be at iancorzine.com to answer any social media law question you have.